What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we have the Dubai Tennis Championships. It's an ATP 500 event, and we don't have the defending champion, Novak Djokovic, but we do have some big names, but also some big names are pulled out recently, so let's go check out the withdrawals. So some of the big names are pulled out of this one. We have Berrettini, the number 10 in the world. He's pulled out. Nick Kyrgios is also pulled out. Monfils is also out. Federer is out, and Stan Wawrinka is also recently pulled out. So big names out of this event. All right, let's start at the top of the draw. This is a big draw, and there's a lot of buys in the first round. There's going to be 16 seeds in this event, and they all have buys in the first round. So Dominic Team, the top seed, he gets a buy in the first round. No matter what, he's playing a qualifier in the second round because there's two qualies playing each other. Then we have Fakina versus a qualifier. Winner of that's going to play number 14 seed, Krajanovic, in the second round. Then we have the number 10 seed, Chorich, already in the second round. He'll play either a qualifier or Bedene in the second round. Then we've got Nishikori versus Opelka, which is a very fun matchup. Winner of that match is going to play another counter puncher, the number 5 seed, Goffan, who's been in some good form recently. So keep an eye on him. Second quarter of the draw now. And we've got Shapovalov, the number three seed, getting a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of Struff or a qualifier in the second round. Then we have Gasquet versus Chekanato. Winner of that's going to play against number 13 seed, Hercatch, in the second round. The number nine seed, Diminor, again, gets a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of Shardy versus Vinoles in the second round. Now, Shardy's been in some form, so watch out for him. Then we have a battle of the wild cards between Poprin, who just recently won his first tournament back in Singapore a couple of weeks ago. He's playing against Dennis Novak, the Austrian. Winner of that match is going to play the number eight seed, Hashinov, who's been in some good form recently, some mixed form recently. He pushed City Pass a couple of weeks ago, so maybe keep an eye on him during this tournament. Let's go to the third quarter of the draw now, the number 17 seed, Sonigo, by in the first round. He'll play the winner of a qualifier versus Milman in the second round. Then we've got the wild card, Karatsev, and of course the Australian Open semi finalist. He's playing. He's playing Jerusalem in the first round. Winner of that's going to play Dan Evans, the number 12 seed in the second round. Then we have Sinner, the number 16 seed, into the second round thanks to a buy. He'll play the winner of Nishioka versus Boo. Bublek, another player who's been in some form. Bublek, watch out for him. And then we already have a second round matchup confirmed. Ebden, who's played really well last week in Marseille, getting to the semi-finals there. He'll play the number four seed, Batista Agu, who got to the final of Doha last week. So already got a second round matchup lined up for this one. All right, the bottom quarter of the draw now, we have the number six seed, Corino Busta, by in the first round. He'll play the winner of Pospisil or Fucevic in the second round. Then we've got Jaziri, the wild card, versus Joe Wood Fritzonga, who came back last week to winning his first match in a couple of years, so he's feeling good. Winner of that match is going to play the number 11 seed, Lajovic, in the second round. Then we've got another second round matchup already confirmed. The number 15 seed, Fritz, against Basilashvili, and these two played last week in Doha, so we've got a replay straight away of the semifinals of Doha last week in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Thompson. Winner of that's going to play against number 2 seed, Rublev, who had a very weird week last week. He was supposed to play two matches. Both were walkovers. He made the semifinals without having to play a match, and then he lost in straight sets, but he did win the doubles last week in Doha, so he is feeling pretty good. So there it is, the Dubai Championships. Not the biggest tournament that we're used to having. We're used to having players like Federer play or Djokovic, but we don't have any of the big names. We do have a couple of big names though, because you do have Dominic Team and Rublev playing, same as what they did in Doha. And there's a lot of buys in the first round. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this event? It's very wide open for me, just like Doha was last week. Very wide open, and I'm not sure who to pick. So this is a tough one for me to pick. There's a lot of seeds in this one, and a lot of players that are in form this year with titles under their belt. But I'm going to go with Dominic Team, the number one seed. I know that he's probably the easy pick, especially after last week, Rublev losing. I'm going to go with Team. I watched him play against Batista Agu losing last week, and he looked great. Again, let me know down in the comments below, who's winning this event for you? So the Dubai Championship's got some big names and some potential big matches in the later rounds.